In tonight's top story, a lot of questions still surround those stimulus debit cards. All night in our newscast, we have been working to give you the information on fees you can face and what to do if you lose your card or someone steals it. Six News reporter Cole Johnson joins us now with a look at what to expect when you get your card in the mail and how to transfer your money to another account. Cole. When it comes to withdrawing money from your stimulus card, you can face fees dependent on how you go about getting the cash. Here's a look at the places in our area to cash money network checks and use surge char free ATMs to withdraw cash. But I want to talk about what you should be on the lookout for if you're still waiting for your card because we have heard stories of people throwing theirs away accidentally. This is what to expect. It will come in a plain envelope from money network cardholder services. The visa name will appear on the front of the card. According to the EIP card website, you get one of those debit cards because you are eligible for the stimulus payment, but the IRS didn't have your bank information. You will then have to activate your card. The website says to call the 1-800 number, the same one you will call if it ends up getting lost or stolen. The card can be used anywhere Visa debit cards are accepted to avoid a fee, according to EIPcard.com. If you want to move the money, it is possible to move it to an existing bank account at the website. You'll need your bank details before doing so. We have tackled a number of questions, researched them for you, and brought you those answers. And you can find those previous reports on the 6 News mobile app. Reporting for 6 News, I'm Cole Johnson. And we also have a walkthrough of some of the bigger questions surrounding that debit card over on KCENTV.com.